Today we are going to look at some of the fastest ways you can use your Visual Studio to write your .NET code. Namespaces are common across the first few lines in a CS file. But do you know there is an easy way where we can remove unused namespaces in split second? Just press Ctrl K E and there we go. Often times it's difficult to copy paste code because we lost the formatting. No worries anymore. Just press Ctrl K D after pasting the text and we are done. Want to make a reminder to do some code? Just create a to do comment. It's simple as writing a comment starting with the letter to do followed by a colon and your message. It's also easy to identify to do's when you open the app for the next time. You can even filter out to do's based on your project. Have you ever wondered how to properly put extensive documentation for your libraries that can help people using it? Take a look at this function. Here you can see the IntelliSense is showing descriptions. How to make it work for our own libraries and functions? Simply add an XML comment by putting triple right slashes. Now let's talk about creating a simple constructor. Simply type CTOR and hit the tab key. That's it. Okay, so what about shortcuts to create properties? Also easy. Simply type PROP and hit the tab key. Now let's say we need to create a constructor with some properties pre initialized. This can be achieved by selecting all the interested properties and clicking on the bulb suggestion to generate one for you automatically. What if I am a constructor first person? Then you can generate properties from your constructor automatically. Visual Studio will take care of placing it properly and following the naming conventions. You can do this for any parameters by invoking the bulb menu after placing the cursor above the interested parameter. We have discussed a lot about bulb menu. Is there a shortcut to invoke it without touching the mouse? The answer is yes. To invoke the bulb menu for the current character, hit ALT and ENTER. Have you ever used immediate windows for troubleshooting your code? Try using immediate windows when doing a debug. This will be active only when you debug and can be used to inspect or update data within the variables. You can access it from debug menu and going to the windows section. It's so powerful to troubleshoot without stopping and restarting your app all from the immediate window. You can do your rough calculations or codings like getting the current date, writing one line to a text file etc all from here. There is a feature in Visual Studio where you can execute commands before or after a build happens. This will be particularly useful for things like copying or invoking external applications. We have already discussed about the free Express version app which integrates with Visual Studio via build events and automatically versions our code based on our needs. If you haven't seen that video, it's a must watch. You can use pre-build event to execute commands before the build happens and post-build event to execute commands after the build happens. Another super cool futuristic tool is up here, the GitHub Copilot. If you are lazy writing code, GitHub Copilot can write your code for you. You just need to tell it what need to do with a comment. If you haven't seen GitHub Copilot installation video, check it out. Like you do for web browsers, you can also bookmark certain lines of your code from Visual Studio. Place your cursor on the line and use the bookmark icon to bookmark it. You can view it back anytime or modify or delete it. To do that, go to the view menu and open bookmarks. Are you a person who writes multiple classes in one file? Of course, C# won't complain it, but it can degrade your quality of code. In that case, write however you want, how many you want and simply invoke this menu function to move it to a respective class within the same namespace and folder. Ever used Object Explorer? If you fail to find some documentation for a NuGet package and being stuck, maybe Object Explorer can show some clues. For that, go to Views and open Object Explorer. It can show a list of classes and method hierarchically so you can get to explore the structure of library and you can reach some conclusions and assumptions looking at how the components are structured. There is something similar called class explorer. This can be used in similar way to analyze your loaded project in current Vision Studio. When you want to print some test data during a debug session, 
we can use console.write line for a console app like most devs do but maybe you can't find a console there well in this case the best way to use in this scenario is to write to a debug console you can see it live from the output window while your code runs ever got a chance to use the c sharp interactive terminal this powerful terminal can be used to execute c sharp statements line by line unlike immediate windows which can execute commands on the fly while a debug session is active c sharp interactive terminal not require a debug session while the immediate window can alter only variables in scope to the debugger c sharp interactive acts like a full fledged new program with no dependency to actively loaded projects that's all we are covering today have a nice day thank you